Yeah. Thank you. Minnesota may be setting the stage to become the third state to legalize psychedelics in some form. The legislature established a task force to advise members on the legal, medical, and policy issues. Fox 9's Corin Hoggard talked to some of those members and joins us now from the newsroom. Corin, with these potential medical benefits, is that right? Yeah, Amy, 10 members are on the board, including a doctor who's using ketamine to treat a small number of patients and a veteran who swears psychedelics have helped him deal with treatment-resistant mental health problems. After five combat tours of duty, Stephen Egan found himself expressing every emotion as anger. You turn to uh, overworking or self-medicating, um, isolation. Egan's trajectory took a positive turn after he had an experience with psilocybin from psychedelic mushrooms. He's now on the state psychedelic medicine task force with Dr. Ranji Varghese. Patients come to his Institute for Integrative Therapies dealing with mental health conditions like depression, anxiety, and PTSD. Music. Soothing music and a therapist's voice guide them through a psychedelic journey under a doctor's care. Keep in mind that the medicine is not the cure. It's the catalyst. It's going to be a catalyst to allow these fixed and rigid ways of thinking to dissolve temporarily so that unconscious material can sort of bubble up to the surface. Dr. Varghese says classic antidepressants are lifesavers, but they don't release the unconscious. Therapy can, but slowly. Psychedelics have a rapid antidepressant effect and give patients the freedom to address rude issues. He warns that people with some medical conditions shouldn't use them, but he's seen psychedelics breathe new life into patients. To basically hardwire the brain into these new ways of patterns and behaviors. For Egan, that meant becoming patient and open to emotions beyond anger. But I will say I had the opportunity to make my life better because of that experience. And Dr. Varghese says people should know the risk of addiction is low for classic psychedelics like mushrooms, LSD, and MDMA. And evidence so far points to them being very safe, especially in a medical setting. From the newsroom, Corin Hoggard, Fox 9. All right, Corin, thank you. Developing